for those that don't know capture one capture one is a raw processing software that is going to be making your images look better through its advanced color grading features through layers so capture one is more advanced than lightroom and i prefer to use this to color grade and process raw files so i'll show you how you can easily use capture one and the right way to use it when you're doing the color grading of skin tones and even out skin tones in your images and if at all you find the video helpful simply like this video because it helps the video perform better on youtube so you can see a quick before and after for this very image and i'm using capture one 2020 you can see before and after so i'll simply come and i simply delete my adjustments right here so that we can start from uh, the very start so I'll simply reset this to the default and after resetting it I'll just simply come and I crop it in a little bit I'm just going to crop it in so much just like this so that we can focus on the skin even more So this is fine so after cropping the image the next thing is going to be doing the basic corrections so for the basic corrections in capture and always do them on the background layer you can set we have the layer option and if at all as you're going on with this tutorial you're lacking any tool or adjustment in capture and simply right click anywhere and you can simply come to add tool and you add whichever tool you're lacking in capture one so after ensuring that and knowing that if at all you want to change your capture and interface to look like mine simply come to window workspace and just come down here to migration so like i said do the lighting and correcting issues regarding the image before you do any color correction or even color grading so for my case i do it on the background the basic corrections i do them on the background so i'll simply come to the high dynamic range and take down my highlights a little bit and i do the same for my whites then I'll just come to my shadows and open them a little bit and after doing that I'll just come to my levels and this is the black point so I'll just take in the black point to add contrast to this very image just like that about to looks great and that is it for the basic correction and if at all the image is a little bit of exposed you can play on the exposure panel right here so after ensuring that I've corrected the lighting and contrast issues regarding this image, the next thing I'm going to do is doing the color correction or even color grading. So when it comes to color grading, I'll do that on a separate layer and I'll be explaining that later on in this tutorial. So to do the corrections, I'll simply come and right click here on this plus icon and I create a new field adjustment layer. So it is on this layer that is going to all is on this layer that i'm going to be doing the color grading the reason for creating a new field layer is when i activate the mask it shows me every area in red is where the color grading is, go is going to be affected or affected onto this very image so I'll simply press m once again to hide the mask so i'll just come down here to where it says color editor so just scroll down and you look for the color editor tool in capture one and under this we have basic this is more like the light from one we have hue saturation and lightness which is more of the luminance advanced and skin tone so the very first thing i handle is the skin tone remember i'm color grading the skin tone on the new field adjustment layer that i just created so i'll scroll down here and i'll simply come and get the color picker tool so you left click and get the color picker tool and you come to your image and you zoom in by pressing ctrl plus and you can hold down the space bar key and you left click and move around so after zooming in with the color picker tool selected you have to sample the area of the skin that is going to represent the overall skin tones so you can see for this image we have some magentas around the nose area we have some yellows and oranges and you can see that we have some contouring right here so just choose a warm color that is going to represent the overall skin so I'll simply come and i sample this point and as soon as i choose that point you can notice that 
the colors that fall within that color range are the yellows, oranges, reds, and magentas. So I want the rest of the skin to look like the area I've just sampled right there. So I'll simply zoom out so that I can look at the image as I'm trying to match or create a uniform skin tone. So I'll simply come to the uniformity slider right here and I'll simply start taking up the hue slider. So you left click and hold down and you take up the hue slider under uniformity and you can notice as you're taking it up you can notice that the magentas that were existing within the nose area are disappearing in this case and now we are getting a uniform skin color or skin tone and that is the most powerful tool when it comes to capture one so if at all you feel like the color is a little bit on the pale side as you're taking up the uniformity slider you can come and simply take up the saturation slider as well and you can notice that now the skin is now getting to look uniform so let's look at a before and after just for unifying or creating this uniform skin tone or skin color so this is the image before after before after but we have one setback as we are creating a uniform skin tone or skin color for this model it has also changed the original makeup or the contouring that was done onto the model and sometimes it may even affect the outfit because sometimes the outfit may fall within the colors of the skin tone which we don't want but remember we are color grading on a separate layer so basically sometimes when we sample on the skin area the skin may be a little bit too red or too green from the area we have sampled that is why you have the amount slider in capture one or the amount panel right here under the skin tone option so what this is going to do if at all the skin is a little bit too red you can simply take it towards the opposite of red which is the green slider which is the right hand side and if at all the skin tone is a little bit too much on the green side you can simply come and take this amount towards the magenta side to create a better looking skin color but for my case i'm comfortable with this skin tone so after ensuring or doing that, you can notice that we also changed or altered the original makeup of the model. So we are going to come back to our adjustment layer that we created. Remember it is a, a field adjustment layer. So in this case what we are going to do, we are simply, so if at all you have a couple of images that you want to work on, what you have to do, you have to first of all copy these adjustments. So you come adjustments right here and you copy them so they can be somewhere on the clipboard so you can copy and paste them on the rest of the images from the same session so that you don't go through manually sampling and unifying the skin tone it is going to apply the same adjustments so if at all the makeup has been affected and the list area has been affected what you have to do you come and get the eraser tool and with the eraser tool you can zoom into this very image or into the image that you are color grading and with the eraser tool you simply erase by simply left clicking and painting over the areas you don't want to be affected by the color grading so you reduce on the size by using the bracket keys and you can erase the color grading for example from the eyeshadow just like that to bring back the originality of the makeup and even the lipstick was also affected so if at all we bring back the mask by pressing M on the keyboard, you can notice right now we are simply eliminating or deleting the color grading from the eyes and revealing back the original makeup. So if at all it affected the outfit, you can simply increase on the size of your brush and you erase the color grading from those areas. Alternatively, if at all it has done the opposite and the model skin is less of the area that you want to work on. I'm just going to press M once again. If at all it has done the opposite, I'm just going to first of all delete these adjustments so that I can demonstrate for if at all maybe the skin is less. So if at all the skin is less, you can simply 
right click on this adjustment layer and you clear the whole mask so when you clear the whole mask you can simply come back and get the brush tool remember the brush tool is just going to paint the color grading on the areas that won't be affected so if at all it has affected the majority of the image simply clear the whole mask of the color grading so if at all i press m once again you can notice that there's nothing so you press the mask and you simply get the brush tool and you paint in the color grading and you can notice that it's now painting only on the face of the model so just paint only on the face if at all the outfit or even the surrounding areas were being affected by uh, the color grading just do that remember i've cleared the mask so with the brush tool i'm painting on those areas but if at all the skin is the opposite simply erase away the makeup or erase the color grading from the makeup areas by getting the eraser tool right here and you erase the color grading from for example the contouring right here and reveal back the eyeshadow just like that and you also reveal the original color of the model's lipstick to make it look better so you can see this is the image before after before after before after so this is how you can easily color grade your images in caption and have a uniform skin tone or skin color in the images and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel and by the way if at all the effect is too much you can reduce on the opacity of the color grading by taking down the opacity slider so this is it for this video and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating